Hello my friends, I hope you're doing super wonderful and in today's tutorial I'll show you how you can create this awesome fun and futuristic text animation in PowerPoint. As you can see the letter O is stretching back and forth and I'll show you how you can make it as well. So let's start Interstellar Journey. Ok my friends, so let's jump into PowerPoint and I'm using Office 365 and this is how our slide number 1 looks like and this is our slide number 2. So let's get back to slide number 1 and let me show you how this text box beyond is constructed. So this text box is actually made out of two parts, so this is the right side of the text box, it has a stretched letter O, and here on the left side we have the other part of this text box, so that's super awesome. And now let me show you one more thing, let's just delete this part on the left side, let's grab this guy on the right and let's just try moving it to the left side just like this. And as you can see the text is being covered by something, and that something is just a little picture that I'm using as a mask to cover some parts of that stretched letter O. So in total we have two parts that make up the text box and we have this little mask. And on the second slide everything is pretty much the same, the only thing I did I have moved this right part to the right side just like this so that we have that stretched letter O. And both of the slides are using Morph Transition, Morph Transition helps to create that stretching animation. Alright my friends, so now that you know how it works, let's jump into our tutorial slide and let's create this animation from scratch. And the first thing that we'll have to do, we'll have to divide this beyond text box into two parts. And now let's just make it a little bit easier for us and let's just copy and paste that beyond text box into a new slide and let's just type in capital O. And by the way the font choice is pretty important for the effect that we're going for and I'm using Hanson bold font because it has this kind of flat letter O which will be really helpful when we will be creating that stretched letter O. Link is in the video description if you'd like to use this awesome free font as well. And now let's just increase the size of this letter O so that it pretty much covers the whole slide. And at the same time I think we can remove this text shadow, we don't need it at the moment, ok. And now my friends let's just cut this letter O in half and first of all let's just turn on the slide guys so that we can see where is the center of the slide. And now let's just insert a rectangle and let's make sure that we cover the whole left side of this letter O. And next let's make sure that the letter is selected, hold down the shift key, select the rectangle and now let's go to merge shapes and choose subtract. And this way we have easily cut this letter O in half. And now let's stretch it by inserting a couple of rectangles. So first of all we'll have to insert a rectangle for this top part and after that we'll insert a second rectangle for the bottom. And please make sure that you resize and align your rectangles perfectly to this half cut letter O, so that everything is looking smooth. And sometimes it might be difficult to set your rectangle to that uh, specific height that you need just by dragging on these handles. So in that case you can go to this height field and just decrease the height a little bit just like that. And now this rectangle is matching perfectly to this half cut letter O. Now let me just duplicate the rectangle and let's align it to the bottom. And now let's select both of the rectangles and let's stretch them to the left side just like that. That's beautiful and now let's select all of the shapes, let's move them to the right side. And let's duplicate this half cut letter O and let's uh, flip it horizontally and let's connect it to the rest of the shapes. And voila, here we have our stretched letter O. And now let's just hit Ctrl G to group everything in one beautiful group, ok let's resize it. And now let's just copy this beautiful stretched letter O and let's paste it into our tutorial slide. And first of all let me delete a couple of letters from this text box so that we can insert our stretched letter row and align it with the original. And before that let me just change the color of this stretched uh, letter. And as well we can add some transparency so that uh, you know this way it will be much easier to align both of these uh, letters. Alright, I think it's looking good enough, so let's delete this letter row. And now for the stretched version, let's set back the transparency and let's set the color to cyan. And next let's make sure that we ungroup this uh, letter row. Ok, let's just hit ungroup and now let's select those two rectangles in the middle, this part on the right side and let's move these guys to the right. And now let's insert two more letters on the right side and for that we can just duplicate this text box, ok, and let's just type in ND. And now my friends we have pretty much everything that we need for our beautiful text animation, let's just make sure that we select all of these guys and let's move them to the right side a little bit, alright. 
Now let's select these rectangles and let's uh, stretch them to the left side until they connect to this uh, part on the left side, just like that. And now let's make sure that we group all of these shapes into two separate groups. So let's select rectangles, these shapes on the right side and let's hit Ctrl G. And let's do the same on the left side. And now an optional step that we can do is jump into the selection pane and give proper names to our groups. So for example this text on the left side let's just call it part 1 and let's make sure it is at the top of the selection pane list, alright? And for this text on the right let's just call it part 2. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright my friends, and next we'll have to create a mask. As you can see if I would try to move this right side to the left side it doesn't look correct because the mask is missing. So let me show you how we can do that. And first of all let me just hide this right part of the text box so that we can focus on creating the mask. And to create a mask all we have to do is just insert a rectangle. Let's make sure that it nicely covers this left side of the text box and that it touches the left side of the slide. And now let me jump into the slide master. This is where I have inserted this beautiful background picture. Link is in the video description. So let's just copy this photo and let's paste it into our tutorial slide. And after that let's just send it one step backward so that we can see this rectangle. And now let's make sure that we select the photo first. Hold down the shift key, select the rectangle and let's go to shape format, merge shapes and choose intersect. And this way we have basically cropped the photo to the rectangle shape. And now in the selection pane we can name it mask, ok? And now let's make sure that the mask layer is between part 1 and part 2. So the left side of the text box which we have named part 1 should be at the top of the selection pane list, then goes the mask and after that we have part 2 which is the right side of the text box. And now everything should be working smooth as butter. And before we continue we can delete this slide, we don't need it anymore, alright let me collapse the selection pane and now let's jump into the slide transitions and let's choose smooth transition, that's beautiful, for the duration I'm using 1.5 seconds. You're doing super wonderful my friends, and now let's just duplicate our beautiful tutorial slide so that we have two identical slides in total. And now on the first slide let's move the right side of the text to the left so that it looks normal and on the second slide we have the stretched look, alright? And now let's give it a preview on the full screen. Congratulations my friends, now you know how you can create this awesome futuristic text animation in PowerPoint. I hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Tutorial slides are absolutely free, link is in the video description. Thanks for watching, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.